I, I think it's a great conversation to be having. And so, you know, profitability and staying relevant, it, this is all a value conversation. Like another way to format the question is, you know, how, how do you remain relevant? How do you how do you continue to add value? What is the value of a brokerage? Yeah. And I, I think that the obvious is just so overlooked. If you want to know what values, what what agents value, follow the money. If you want to know what agents value, just follow their money. Meaning, what do agents spend money on? Agents spend money on coaching. So if a brokerage wants to remain relevant, they better have a coaching company. They better be a co co coaching company. The agents better see them as one of their values being coaching so then they don't have to go and independently spend with a third party. What? Where let's, else is the money going? Let's, the let's money's keep, going to leads. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I said, let's keep going through the list. I love that. Yeah. I'd never heard of that before. Yeah. So coaching, yeah. probably in order of cost, coaching. Yeah, lead leads. Innovation. Just follow the money. Where are they? They're paying Zillow or they're paying Realtor.com or they're paying Op City. So if they're going to pay that much money to lead sources, then leads must be of value. So then the real estate company must have a lead arm to it. Yeah, I, I don't understand how often you'll see a traditional broker not generate leads, but they're okay with Zillow charging a 35% or 40% referral fee. I know other CRMs like Boomtown are doing that. Cardis, Serva, NEI, all the Relo companies have been doing this for years. Why is the real estate broker not doing it? And I think the answer is because they don't know how to generate leads. Yeah, Why well, is that is the answer. That Yeah, that is the answer. They don't know how. There's a, there's a how to, I don't know how to coach. Maybe yep. they maybe they were never really a top producer. Maybe they never really they were just more of a great manager. And now all of a sudden, management is less desired, and um and coaching is. And yep. now they don't know exactly like how do you how do you, how do you gain coaching experience when you've never really done it, right? You you, you know there's issues there. Yep. So, but back to oh, following money, yeah, coaching lead Co generation, uh, marketing services. Branding okay. services, marketing, whether it be so like we have a graphic designer on staff. And so an agent comes and says, oh, I think I'm going to start sending this out to my my buyers after I get a new buyer lead. And I looked at it and it's a Word document and it's great information. I said, can you send that over to the marketing department? They'll personally create some branding around that. Give it back to you. I like they it. wouldn't have done that. That's an expense sure. that they would have to do in, in, in creating that. Yeah, and custom then, content. Because a lot of the big box yes. shops, I know Century 21 has yep. to have some type of a marketing portal where people can go get their business cards and shirts and, you know, their signs and all of that kind of stuff. But that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about a custom in-house um, marketing department that can help people generate content. Yes. It exactly. might even go into the social media realm. Could be that video editing. There you go. It, it, you know, it could be a video. I mean, I'm in my video room. Video. There's a sec I got a second video room right there that agents go in and create their own videos. Yep. You know, create their own podcast episodes. So I love it. Digital all marketing right. services. We do 6D renders, 3D renders. People can use virtual reality tech, all sorts of fun stuff. All right. So what else? Transaction management. In, 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 yeah. In, in the form of listing uh, coordinators, closing coordinators, or even um, just miscellaneous uh, services that a virtual assistant can do and having virtual assistants readily available to take on those oh, tasks. Is. See, these are, this is where money's going. So I just named four things. Yep. So I believe the future of successful brokerages will be a conglomerate of four companies that all fall under the umbrella of brokerage. They're a coaching company, they're a lead company, they're a, a, a marketing company, and they're a lead, ma uh, a contract management company. 